Welcome back, everybody. This video showcases how to expand uh, GraphQL API and how to add a mutation ability using Quarkus. If you don't have a chance to watch the first video, uh, how to consume GraphQL API using Quarkus application, uh, please watch that first because we're going to use the same application continuously uh, to develop a new capability, uh, how to expand and how to add a mutation. Uh, for GraphQL API with the Corpus application in this video. My name is Daniel O. I'm working for Red Hat as a technical marketing major. So let's get started. As you see, we already have created GraphQL API to retrieve a theme data. And now we're going to want to enable our client to retrieve the uh, hero data of the theme. As you see, I already uh, added a new uh, method hero in our find resource Java class here to invoke a CDI bin to get heroes by a theme uh, with some specific theme object. So let's take a look at that uh, Galaxy service uh, as part of as the CDI beans. I already added the new uh, the get hero by theme method here, and the return code is uh, the risk type of hero and I put in some uh, the extract the stream data and a filtering uh, based on episode ID here. And one of the beauty of the expanding API of GraphQL, uh, during the we edited uh, the new schema in the GraphQL API, but the previous query is still working. So because we only expand the API to able to retrieve hero data of the theme. So let's get uh, uh, add more uh, mutation ability. So mutation are used when data is create, update, or delete. So let's say uh, we're gonna add new ability uh, to add or delete the hero in our existing group API. So method name, let's say add hero. I'm, I'm gonna uh, add a new hero data based on a hero object. And uh, we're gonna add a new uh, method uh, the name is a delete hero here and uh, with a parameter, the unique ID, and we're going to return the hero uh, data after remove that object in a, uh, the query schema. And uh, move on to uh, our theme resource uh, class uh, to add a new mutation here. So using the mutation annotation, the Quarkus provide, uh, uh, which enables you have ability uh, uh, about the mutation capability. So so uh, just implement uh, invoke the CDI bin. Uh, the name is a service and add a hero of, uh, using the parameter hero, and also another uh, mutation method here. Uh, the delete the hero uh, parameter is unique ID, and we're gonna invoke the uh, we just defined in the uh, CDI bin the Galaxy Service Java class and the service dot uh, delete the hero and with the, uh, the parameter ID. Let's create another method the query heroes by their last name. So the method name already uh, edited here. Uh, the get hero uh, with the surname. So we're gonna use the default value annotation. Uh, we already decided the surname value will be Skywalker when the parameter is not Palmyra, just like a default parameter. And then the uh, one of the good thing is here, the query uh, can also be done on individual field. Okay, let's go back to uh, GraphQL UI. We already used it in previous demo and I put in the, the uh, the new uh, add hero, so like uh, my name is Daniel and last name is O and my hate mess and also put in the dark saber and the force because I don't want to be villain. And now you're going to see here the so Daniel O as a written code the name and surname. So let's try to uh, find out uh, this uh, data is actually put in the, our schema. Just uh, try uh, to get uh, get uh, theme or uh, name heroes here we already uh, developed in the previous demo. Now you can see on the right side. So my name is here, Daniel, and that that name. So let's try to add the surname because I wanted to uh, get the surname as well. Now you can see so my surname here. So pretty cool. So let's try to delete the hero with a specific unique ID. So I just using my ID and I just delete my name. 
and let's try to get all theme data and now you can see my name is just gone our uh, GraphQL schema this is a very simple and very easy to change your data so let's wrap up in this demo and as well as the previous demo so first thing, GraphQL is a query language for API and a runtime for fulfilling those query with your existing data, but uh, GraphQL is not a replacement for REST API specification. It's a, a kind of alternative, but uh, with the GraphQL API, uh, you can prevent uh, over-patching and under-patching just using RESTful API. And the focus provide the GraphQL extension for developer to use easily, quickly, including a GraphQL uh, UI interface as well. Thanks for watching and have a good day.